Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. For today's lesson, we're going to be subtracting single digit numbers within 100. All right. But we're kind of, it's like a, this is like a variation of the make a 10 method that you may or may not be familiar with. So what we do is we look at this subtraction problem. Like, let's take the first example. We have 20 minus 9, right? And a little bit of math vocabulary for you. In a subtraction problem, the first number is what we call the menu end. The second number that's being subtracted is called the subtrahend. And of course, the answer, we refer, we refer to that as the difference. So menu end, subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. But what you want to do is we want to subtract the subtrahend from the number 10. So the question is, where are we going to get this 10 from? This is where you get the 10 from in the first example. We're going to break down or decompose 20 into 10 and 10 because 10 plus 10 is 20. So we're going to decompose or break down 20 into 10 and 10. And then we're going to do 10 minus 9 like this. So here's my visual, 10 minus 9, right, which is going to be 1, right? It's going to leave us with 1. And then we bring the 10 down, and then we actually end up doing addition. So 10 plus 1 gives us 11, which is the same thing as 20 minus 9. All right? Now, in case you're wondering, why do we got to do all that? It's faster to just do it another way, blah, blah, blah. This is not about speed yet. This is about developing number sense and number fluency, right? That's what we want, especially for young children. We want to develop Conceptual understanding, number sense, and number fluency. That's going to pay great dividends going on down the, down the line in higher, higher level math classes. Then we get to this next example, 30 take away 9. We have 30 take away 9. We want to make a 10 because we want to subtract this 9 from 10. But where are we going to get the 10 from? We're going to get it from 30. When we decompose 30, break 30 down into 20 and 10. 20 and 10. All right? So we break 30 down. It becomes 20 and 10. And then we do our 10 take away 9. 10 take away 9 is going to give us 1, and then we bring the 20 down, and we end up doing addition. We add the 20, right, that came from the 30, and the remaining, or the difference between 10 and 9, which is 1, we add those two together, which leaves us with 21. Then we go to this next example, 80 minus 6. 80 is a much larger number than 20 or 30, but we still can use the same method. We want to subtract 6 from 10. 6 from 10, but again, the question I keep, you have to keep asking yourself the same question over and over again. And your children should ask the same question. Where am I going to get the 10 from so that I can do 10 minus 6? I'm going to get it from 80. So I'm going to decompose 80 and break that down into 70 and 10. 70 and 10. And then I do 10, take away 6, which is going to give us 4. And then I have 70 that was already part of 80. And I'm going to combine that or add that to the difference between 10 and 6, which is 4 leaving us with 74 or a difference of 74. Last but not least, we have 90 take away 5 and we want to subtract 5 from 10. But the question again, where am I getting this 10 from? Where is this 10 coming from? It's coming from the 90. We're going to decompose 90, break 90 down into 80 plus 10. We're going to then do 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. We bring the 80 down and we're going to combine or add these two numbers. 80 plus 5 equals 85. Don't get confused about the fact that we end up doing addition at the end of the problem when this starts out as a subtraction problem. We are still subtracting 5 from 90, but we're just kind of going about it in a more roundabout way in order to develop different skills in the children and also develop numerical fluency. And that's today's lesson.